is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 8th of April, 2021. It's the birthday of the editor Robert Giroux, born in New Jersey in 1914, who discovered an author named Jean Stafford, who then introduced him to her then-husband, Robert Lowell, and Giroux published him as well, and Lowell then introduced Giroux to a young woman named Flannery O'Connor, whom he also published. It's the birthday of the novelist Barbara Kingsolver in Annapolis in 1955, author of The Poisonwood Bible, The Lacuna, and Flight Behavior. She and her family made their home on a 40-acre farm in southern Virginia, and there she decided to spend a year eating only local foods except for coffee, grains, and olive oil, an experiment she wrote about in her book Animal, Vegetable, Miracle. A Year of Food Life. It came out in 2007. Barbara Kingsolver, who said, A novel doesn't tell you anything. It has to show you everything. 1911, on this date, the Dutch physicist Heike Kamerling Onnes discovered superconductivity, the quality of certain materials to exhibit no electrical friction or resistance. He found it in mercury. It was found in other materials as well. Today is the day on which Buddhists celebrate the birthday of Buddha, born Prince Siddhartha in India, 6th century B.C. Raised in luxury, married, father to son, went out to see the world, and outlined the basic tenets of Buddhism, the Four Noble Truths, that the nature of life is suffering, suffering is caused by human cravings, there is relief from suffering in the state of nirvana, and nirvana is attainable by following an eightfold path to self-improvement. And it's the birthday of the lyricist Yip Harburg, New York City, 1896, wrote April in Paris, It's Only a Paper Moon. And he wrote, The Lord made Adam, the Lord made Eve, he made them both a little bit naive. Here's a poem for today by Philip Schultz, Talking to Ourselves. A woman in my doctor's office last week couldn't stop talking about Niagara Falls, the difference between dog and deer ticks, how her oldest boy, killed in Iraq, would lie with her at night in the summer grass singing Puccini. Her eyes looked at me but saw only the saffron swirls of the quivering heavens. Yesterday, Mr. Miller, our tidy neighbor, stopped under our lopsided maple to explain how his wife of 60 years died last month of Alzheimer's. I stood there listening to his longing reach across the darkness with each bruised breath of his eloquent singing. This morning, my five-year-old asked himself why he'd come into the kitchen. I understood he was thinking out loud, personifying himself, but the intimacy of his small voice was surprising. When my father's vending business was failing, he'd talk to himself while driving, his lips silently moving, his black eyes deliquescent. He didn't care that I was there, listening. What he was saying was too important. Too important, I hear myself saying in the kitchen, putting the dishes away, and my wife looks up from a reading and asks, What's that you said? Poem by Philip Schultz, talking to ourselves from his collection, Failure. That's the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, April the 8th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. April is National Poetry Month. This is Tim Russell hoping that you'll mark the occasion by supporting the Writer's Almanac. Your donation will help with production costs through December, maybe longer. Please visit garrisonkeeler.com to make a contribution. And thank you. 